Hi, Lotte, and thank you for uh, taking time to have an interview no for the Apostolic Italian Forum. And uh, so, uh, this is the last uh, show, the Italian show of this European tour. Yeah. And uh, so, how is going uh, so far the, this tour? It's been great. We're, uh, we've been touring together with the Gothard, you know, yeah. in Germany and uh, Austria and other countries. And uh, but it's always, always fun to come to Italy. I mean, yeah. like I say on stage every night, it's like a second home. Yeah. And it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Almost to that on stage. And how was touring with Gothard? <laughs> yeah, it was good. I mean, it's like a completely different audience what we are used to. I mean, uh, I remember the first show we did, and they were like, I was looking out in the audience, and there were like people in my mom's age. Really? And I was like, oh, this is really old audience. But you know, they're older, they've been around for longer, they have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's good for us to play for their audience to gain more fans. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I know that uh, after a show in London, at the beginning of your career, uh, some reporters said you were not even a new bank tango, <laughs> but now here you are. Yeah. So, um, we can say that your uh, road to success was quite slow and gradual. Yeah. But, uh, have you ever had uh, like a, a turning point the moment when you said uh, it's happening with you? Yeah, it was... Uh, when we did the Black Album, the uh, satire album, Rock Superstore, that's when it you know, turned around and, uh, and the wind were blowing our way yeah. instead of against us. So I think for, from, from that album, like 2005, everything went like this. But when we slow, not like that, not like that. You had to work very hard. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's, uh, it paid off. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, when you come up with a new idea for a song and you can't put down uh, music, what do you usually do to remember it? Like you write it down or something? I use my iPhone. And you record it? Yeah, I record it. There's a lot of ideas in that. Ah, so, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I got like a melody. No, 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 no. Just okay. And what did the, the other guys do? They did the same. Same yeah, the same iPhone. thing. And then, you know, uh, Ade and uh, Martin, they have uh, a studio. Yeah. Ade got a studio at uh, his home and Martin got a studio at his home. So, then we go there, you know, and record demos and stuff. Okay. And, um, yeah, I think video clips are one of your strong points. Huh? Uh, which one you enjoy the most making? Can you tell us something about uh, something I like to record uh, the video from below yeah. because it was like like a rehearsal room, you know, where it all started. So I think it was uh, I like the video because it's clean, it's just us playing in a room, yeah. having fun. Same, simple, straight. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I like that the most, actually. And I also like, you know, videos like Sundays, you know, with the light. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like that one, my little reputation. Yeah. Meditating me is my favorite. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And uh, actually, I uh, heard somewhere you doesn't like making videos because they like to wait, like the waiting time, yeah. and like that. Is it true? I hate doing videos. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's the truth. Yeah, that's the truth. I promise you, I hate doing videos. <laughs> I confess. <laughs> yeah, I'm guilty. And um, what about the, the video from the store? It uh, was a quite a while we then for the on the road video. Yeah, uh, yeah. You came up with the idea. We, um, Let me say this. You saw the show with yeah. Alcaraz? Yeah, but we had the uh, uh, support band from Memrys, yeah. and uh, the drummer in that band was taking pictures of us every night. <laughs> and uh, he said, I can do a video, so he filmed every night as well. Oh. So <coughs> he 
film to the Alcatraz last call right yeah. and then we just had like two channels in the yeah. in the mixing yeah. room. Yeah. So everything you hear on that video is like for real. Yeah. Everything is straight in. So this was for uh, in Italy, this idea. Yeah. We can say that. Yeah, we can say that. Okay, nice, nice, very nice. And um, so I'm going to uh, read a, a quote from uh, an old interview uh, from uh, Abde, and then you, you tell me what do you think about this. Yeah. <coughs> uh, it's really hard to make a good studio album that works live. You can't have them both. Either you are a good studio band and you suck live, or you are a good live band but you can make it in the studio to sound live. In my opinion, you seem to have them both. But how do you feel about uh, this statement? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing we talk about a lot. All the guys in the band, I mean, it's like... Uh, <clears throat> if you see from the first three albums, we were like looking for how we're supposed to sound like. You know, looking for the typical Hawker mm -hmm. Simpson sound. And we didn't find that until the self-titled album. Yeah. The formula, you know? Yeah when we didn't listen to record companies anymore uh, because they always tell us why don't you sound like that band or no. that band no, we're Harper Supertro so when we stopped listening to what record companies said that's when we did the Black Album and uh, that's when we took the sleaze meeting the thrash yeah, it was a great change yeah, from that. yeah. so <clears throat> From then on, it's it's been much easier to do studio albums, but before that was not easy okay. because everyone wanted to put their opinion in the band. Of course. So, do you still uh, think about how uh, a song uh, may sound live when you are composing it? Yeah. Just, uh... Yeah. That's very important to <coughs> uh, to to get the feeling that this is going to work live, you know. It's going to be energy, it's going to be... Uh, I think we all think about that all the time, actually. Yeah, I think the new single really yeah. sounds great live. Yeah, I think and so. And it's very powerful. Yeah, I was a little bit, you know... I was thinking, that, oh, could this work live, you know? But it really, really does. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed it, yeah. actually. Oh, yeah. great. And uh, so, uh, you are going to play at the legendary Whiskey of War yeah. in January. Yeah. So, uh, how did you... Uh, with the whole thing, and uh, <coughs> why don't you, didn't you tour the US before? I know that people adore you. But yeah, I know, uh, but I, I think America is too big to uh, come to. Yeah, and, uh, in California. <laughs> yeah, but, but we are mixing the album in LA. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, it's gonna be Joe Varese who also mixed the latest uh, album. Oh, yeah. nice. So we, we go into his studio. Okay. And then our management thought it was a good idea. Why don't we play a one show at the whiskey? That's like great. Yeah. I know many people are going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. About this. yeah, I think it's almost all out. Yeah, and it's about yeah. 500. Yeah. 500. Maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's good. Okay. And, um, <laughs> Actually, many um, Italian rock bands have a stronger fan base abroad rather than uh, in uh, our country yes. because uh, we don't have uh, uh, actually a scene supporting uh, emerging bands. Yes. While uh, as far as I know, it's kind of uh, the opposite. Like, yeah. uh, how about the underground uh, scene, uh, like for example in Gothenburg? It's so many bands coming up. I mean, it's like I used to say, I either used to play football, soccer, or you play music. Yeah, okay. In Gothenburg, because there are so many. There's one band called Longfinger, a really good band, an awesome band, and they are, you know, doing such such good records. I I I adore that band, and uh, and there's many more coming up, you know. So uh, I think it's good. Why? Yeah. And there is a difference, uh, like uh, when you were in the underground scene and then now. Yeah, I mean, it's like... Uh, I mean, nowadays it's difficult, it's harder to sell uh, records I mean, for the, yeah. the internet and... Uh, and it's, it's harder to get a record deal. 
If I if I would have started all over again, I wouldn't do that. No. no. It's uh, been a you know we worked so hard to be like this you know. So uh, I don't I won't do that all over again. Never. <laughs> that uh, how sad it's because it's a struggle you know. Yeah. I would definitely record music, but I want like building up a band again. Yeah. Maybe I can do that because of my I'm already famous. It would be easier, but but uh, no. And there are many many bands uh, coming from uh, Sweden that are very popular. In yeah, yeah. So you kind of have uh, some sort of a subculture of yeah. uh, Sweden locals. Yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah. I know many people who went to on vacation uh, to Sweden just yeah. because they're driven by the fashion. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to see how this country looked like. Yeah. And actually, I kind of uh, did the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Two years last year. Yeah. But also because uh, uh, I'm a great fan of uh, the Millennium Trilogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to see uh, Stockholm because uh, oh, it's about, yeah, about yeah. 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 And, uh, Very good books. Yeah, I love them. And after you, like, uh, we were the first one to open the road, after that, maybe yeah. it's been, uh, yeah. you know, like, uh, for example, Chris Dyer's sister, yeah. Crucified yeah. Barbara, and that. Uh, everything yeah. that comes from Sweden and Italy is like, oh. Yeah, yeah. But, the, like, uh, the, not bad, but the, 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 other, the other part is that not everyone is good, as no. uh, you are, for example. Oh, but uh, if, he, if he's from Sweden, then he's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can have this... One of the things uh, I think I the most of your shows is the interaction between you and uh, me. Yeah. Like, uh, he's playing in the band forever. Yeah, it is, it is. And uh, did you get along uh, so well uh, on stage, or just uh, part of the scene? <laughs> no, we get along on stage as well, we do. Uh, but he sleeps a lot, so I don't stay in that much. Oh, really? Did he sleep in like that? Yeah, the other guys are sleeping. Everyone? Yeah. What time is it? Uh, I don't know. What uh, time is it? I've been up since like 12. It's four. It's four. It's four. It's four. There's sleeping. What the fuck? He's the one who sleeps the most. Adam. He's a winner. He's a sleeping winner. Okay. And you went uh, maybe uh, for a walk? Because I know you work out. Yeah, I, 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 I had my workout today. I've been working out for 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, let's play a little game. I will pick one song from each of your records and you tell me something about it. Okay. Like if there's something connected to it. Yeah. So um, from Bad Sneakers, I'm picking Bubble Cam Ride. <laughs> Actually, I don't think about Spur. It's not like that. I think, I think it, it, when I, you know, the the, the Faith Group song. What the hell is going on? Yeah, it's it's exactly what is going on. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like that. Yeah, no so that's why I okay. got my connection to that song. Okay. Nice. Uh, from thank you. Uh, okay, I think it's going to be a little bit of a song. Okay. Yeah. Someone who doesn't know yeah. the story about that. Do you want to? Yeah, I mean, it's a. Uh, this journalist. Uh, criticize us. Like. I don't know. But it's like. They're not even a new bank tango, it's so like... Uh, I think the record company said you were the new Guns and Roses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, uh, yeah. yeah. so that's... Uh, how, how did you feel uh, when I mean, you were at the beginning? Maybe you... you, you, you I was were, angry. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was saying I want to hit that you're just right in the face. <laughs> now you can you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> See if we are in now? Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> So, um, from No Regrets, I'm taking Pathetic Way of Life. It's my favorite one. It's my favorite as well. Oh! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's a fast song and it's like, uh, we got really good melodies. It's like catchy. Yeah. And it's, it's uh, we used to play that live actually, but a long time ago. Yeah, I know. We don't play it on that. Anymore. No, we're not, not thank you. Uh, 
But it, yeah, but it's a good song, and uh, I don't know what to say about it, but it's... Uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we can go on. Yeah. Um, so, from Papa Superstar, I'm taking Standing on the Bridge. Oh. <coughs> That's a... Uh, okay. We recorded that song in Abby's house. Upstairs it is uh, where he now puts his kids in okay. that room. So, uh, yeah, that was a good memory. Okay. Um, from a Dreamy and a Casket, I'm taking Wake Up There in the Great song. I love It's one of my favorites. Yeah. The guitar part is kind yeah. of. I want to keep someone in the Yeah, place. exactly, exactly. <laughs> I always want stage time when I hear that song. Yeah. And any chance to hear this live, never and I, ha I have, I have, I wanted to play that live, but that they said that it's too hard to, because the, the, the chorus is very important. <laughs> yeah. But it's hard to play at the same time. Okay. So that's why. Oh. But I can sing okay. the chorus. You don't yeah. have to sing it, just play it. <laughs> we, we can, we can sing the yeah, chorus. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we can do that. But I, I will, I will try. Me too. Okay. I, I will remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not today. Okay, okay. Thank you, I'll be patient. Yeah. <laughs> um, then, uh, hope for all my life. Another one of my favorites. That was funny when we recorded that song. I was like, lying on the floor with my feet up against the wall when I did the, the vocals. I tried everything to get in the mood, you know, I was laying in the sofa and singing it. But uh, in the end we, we got it. We got a lot of vocal takes on that one, because we didn't get it right. But finally... And uh, it's kind of a autobiography? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm all right. So, uh, front yeah. I think you understand that. Right? What? I think you understand that. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite songs as well. So it's, uh, it's my uh, alone moment on stage. Yeah, I love that. Where the other guys are from. And play poker. <laughs> yeah, no poker. The fuck is that? <laughs> and uh, finally, a uh, stranger of mine. Also a song that I love really much, so uh, we talked about to do with that live, but we need the acoustic guitars and stuff. And uh, I can play acoustic guitar, but it wouldn't, that would affect the song, the vocals, because it's so... The lyrics are strong, I have to like... It's hard to have a guitar and then put out a good yeah. vocal performance. Yeah. But hopefully we're gonna do that. Maybe we do like an acoustic set someday. Yeah, that would be fine. Thank you. And last but not least, can you tell us something about the upcoming new album? Uh, what are you, where are you at now? We uh, recorded three songs and we are going back to Sweden in a couple of days and we're gonna record seven more tracks. And uh, it's going to be a little different on this album because we're we already touched it on Come and Take a Me yeah. uh, with the grunge influences, yeah. some grunge, and it's even more in this one. Okay. So Alice in Chains, you know, you know influences, and also about the love bomb. You heard about okay. that? Yeah. Okay. I see. But it's still going to be like I mean, it's me singing it, so it's. Yeah. And what about the, the artwork? Is it kind of unusual? Uh, yeah, it's more like a skate, skateboard yeah. orientated. Because me and Adi used to skate a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, I actually I got I bought a new board. Okay. Um, so me and my son, we skate yeah. together. Yeah. So, but we, we always love that, you know, theme about, you know, the skateboard, you know. That's what we used it this time. Okay, so it will be kind of uh, the same from the photo yeah. album? Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's all. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank and, you. Uh, see you tonight. Yeah. Sure. It's gonna be hot. I know that. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs>